the different types of telephoto lenses and how they help you with your photography. We're going to get into all that in this video coming up. Hey, what's up guys? My name is David Johnson. On this channel, I help you improve your photography, talking about gear plus infield techniques and tutorials. So if you're into that, hit the subscribe button. In this video, we're talking about two telephoto lenses that are right back here. These are two extremely popular types of telephoto lenses for your landscape photography. In this hand, I hold a typical 70 to 200. This is an F4. If you want a full review on this lens, click or tap the card showing up on your screen right here. Now, this lens is one that I've been using for a long time with my landscape photography, and I think it's a great lens if you want to get into more of the telephoto style of photography. When we're talking about telephoto style photography, I'm talking about ways that you can take a big, big landscape and then seclude it down to really small scenes that make up that landscape. So this is a really important lens to have in your bag. Now, 70 to 200 is a pretty good range for you to have, but you would be missing out on some of those further views. If I think back to some of the trips that I've taken, not having enough reach with this lens led me to purchasing this lens that I'll get into in just a second. But the 70 to 200 is a great one to have. Pretty small, pretty lightweight. Without the lens hood, it's even smaller and more compact. So these are great lenses to have in your bag. I recommend the F4 just because you don't really need anything wider or faster than that in landscape photography. If you're doing something like portrait photography or wedding photography, I'd definitely go for more of the 2.8 instead of the F4, but this one is a great lens to have in your bag. Obviously, this one is from Sony, but any camera make is going to make a lens like this. Anyone who makes different lenses is going to make a lens like this. You'll find any 70 to 200 no matter what you shoot with. Now, not having enough reach with this lens led me to purchasing this lens. This is going to be more like your 100 to 400 telephoto lens that's going to give you that max reach. This one is actually a 150 to 500 lens from Tamron. And if you look at the size comparison here, I think the miraculous thing for this lens is it actually is very comparable in size here. So we're not talking about like that much difference in how big or heavy these two lenses are. All we're talking about in the difference here is the amount of reach that this 150 to 500 is gonna give you instead of the 70 to 200. Now, I haven't made a full review on this lens just because I just started using it, but I've already seen great benefit to this. If I think back the amount of times that I used the 70 to 200 and missing the amount of range that I was getting out of it, I typically never shoot at about 70 millimeters. I'm always between that 100 to 200 range, which is why I went with this 150 to 500. So I'm gonna get max reach, but I'm also not really sacrificing the widest view that I'm taking with a telephoto lens typically. Now, basically the only benefit of having this lens versus this one is you're getting more reach out. Now you definitely need to look at price too because when we're talking about price differences here, these two are gonna run you similar costs. And if you wanna check these lenses out further, you can find the links to those in the video description and in the pinned comment. But the prices to these two lenses specifically are gonna be pretty close in range. If I went with a 100 to 400 in the Sony, I would be paying astronomically more than this 150 to 500, which is why I typically go Tamron lenses, Sigma lenses, any third party, quote unquote, lens companies that make lenses for those. So you're gonna get more reach out of these lenses, but typically the longer lenses and telephoto lenses are gonna cost you a little bit more unless you find a good deal with a third party or a used lens, which I highly recommend using mpb.com to buy and sell your used equipment. Hopefully this information helped you with your telephoto lens selection. For me and my photography, I'm seriously considering sticking with just this telephoto lens in my bag instead of the 70 to 200, but we'll see how that moves forward. If you wanna see the full review on this 150 to 500, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be coming out with that pretty soon and see more of these two lens comparisons in the field on the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys.